Welcome to this tutorial video on the define phase of DMake. In this video, we are going to explain what the define phase is, break it down into its substeps, and introduce some of the tools that you might use. Firstly, let's look at the objective of the define phase, which is to develop a clear project charter based on a real problem that is both relevant to the customer and that will provide significant benefits to the business. So the define phase is all about defining a problem, checking that it really is a problem, and then clarifying the scope of the project. Now let's take a look at some of the sub-steps within the define phase. The first step of define is defining the business case. In this step, we are trying to establish very clearly what the problem is, and more importantly, what the impact of the problem is on the business, both operationally and financially. From there, we can start to get a feel for the potential benefits of the project. The second step is understanding the customer. And this is where we take a look at who the customers of the process are and how the problem impacts them, to check that we are working on something that is relevant to the end user. The third step is defining the process. And this is about ensuring that everyone understands what the core process is that the problem relates to. The fourth step is about managing the project. Here, we are trying to check that we understand how the project will be managed in terms of who will lead it, who will be in the project team, who the stakeholders and sponsor are, and what the expected time frame of the project is. And then the final step of define is gaining project approval. This is the stage where all of the defined work completed so far is pulled together and presented to the sponsor and key stakeholders in order that everyone can understand and agree on the objectives and the scope of the project. With this consensus and approval in place, the project can then proceed. Some of the tools that you will hear about in the defined phase of DMake are problem and goal statements, which help to clarify the problem, goal and potential benefits of the project, voice of the customer analysis and critical to quality trees, which help you to understand who the customers are and what they need from the product or service. SIPOC analysis, which is a tool for defining and understanding the core process involved. Stakeholder analysis and project management tools that can be used to establish how the project and its stakeholders will be managed. And finally, a project charter which is a tool for summarising the results of the defined phase before they are presented back to the sponsor and other key stakeholders. So in summary, the defined phase is a critical stage. It helps to clarify what the problem is and what the benefits of the project might be. Its objective is to ensure that everyone has the same understanding of what the project aims to achieve and that everyone is happy for the project to proceed into the next phase, which is measure. That concludes this short video on the defined phase. Thanks for watching.